Once in a village, a very old man and his son Raju lived together. When the time to death came near of his father, he called his son and said, Raju, I do not have any wealth for you to inherit, but I have worked all my life with truth and honesty, so I can only give you my blessings. I bless you that you will live a happy life. Even dust will become gold with your touch. Son bowed his head and touched his father's feet. Father blessed him by placing his hand on his head and gave up his life. Now, all the responsibility was on Raju. He had to handle all the expenses of the house. So, he started his business on a small handcart. Slowly, his business started growing and he opened a small shop. Business grew further and became very big. Now, Raju was among the richest people of the city. Raju always believed that it was all result of his father's blessings because his father never gave up his patience, faith, truth, honesty. Therefore, all his success was fruition of his father's blessings. Whenever anyone asked him about how he achieved the success, Raju would always tell them that this is because of his father's blessings. One day, his friend asked, If your father had so much strength, then why did he suffer? Why didn't he use this to prosper himself? In response, Raju said, I am not talking about the power of my father, but the power of his blessings. Many years passed, Raju started doing business abroad. Wherever he did business, he would always make a lot of profits. One day he thought, I am getting profits and benefits from my business since its beginning. Should I try to experience loss once? So he asked one of his friends if he could recommend a business where he could suffer loss only. His friend felt that. He had become arrogant due to his success and money. So to fix his arrogance, I should tell him a business that he will definitely suffer loss. He told him, you buy clothes in India and load it in a ship and take it to sell in Zanzibar Island of Africa because Zanzibar is land of cloves. And from there, cloves are imported to the India and sold here at 10 to 12 times higher price. If you buy cloves here in India and then sell it in Zanzibar, then you will definitely suffer loss. Raju liked his idea and bought cloves in India, packed them and loaded them in ship and reached to the Zanzibar Island. Zanzibar was ruled by Sultan. When Raju was on his way to meet merchants of Zanzibar, he saw a person coming from the front with soldiers. He asked one of those soldiers, who is this? Soldier replied, this is Sultan of Zanzibar. Seeing him in front, Sultan asked Raju for an introduction. Raju greeted him and said, I am trader from India and I have come here to do business. Sultan started talking to him. Raju saw that soldiers were carrying big sieves instead of swords or guns. He was surprised to see this and politely asked Sultan, why are your soldiers carrying big sieves with them? Sultan laughed and said, I had come for a walk on the beach in the morning and then one of my rings fell from my finger into the sand and I didn't notice it there. When I realized I had lost my ring, I came back with soldiers carrying sieves to filter the sand for my ring. Raju said, ring must be very expensive. Sultan said, no, I have countless of rings, but the ring I lost was worth more than any other rings because it is a mystic's blessing. And I believe that my Sultanate has been made so happy and prosperous by the blessings of that mystic. That's why for me that ring is invaluable. After saying this, Sultan asked, What goods have you bought for trade? Raju said, Clothes. Sultan was surprised at his answer. He said, This is the land of clothes, and you came here to sell clothes. Who gave you such advice? Surely, that person must be your enemy, because here you can buy a handful of clothes for a penny. Who will buy clothes from you? What will you earn? Raju said, I came to see whether I would be able to make profit here or not because of my father's blessing. I have only made profit in every business I have done. So now I want to see whether his blessings will bear fruit here as well. Sultan asked, Father's blessing, what does this mean? Raju said, 
My father worked all his life with honesty and integrity, but couldn't earn money at the time of his death. He blessed me by taking God's name, and also said that even dust in your hand would turn into gold. While saying this, Raju bent down and took a handful of sand from the ground, and opened his fist in front of Sultan and dropped sand between his fingers. Oath Raju and Sultan couldn't believe their eyes. It was Sultan's lost ring in his hand. Sultan was very pleased to see the ring and said, God really made your father's blessing true. Raju responded, The same God ensures the blessings of a mystic. Sultan was happy and said, I will give you whatever you ask for today. Raju said, May you live for a hundred years and take good care of your people. Everyone lives happily. Other than that, I don't want anything else. Listening to this, the Sultan became more pleased and said, I will buy your all clothes and will give you any price you ask for. What we can learn from this, this story teaches that if you have the blessings of your father or elder, then no power in the world will allow you to be defeated anywhere. There are no other assets like blessings. It is therefore extremely crucial to respect your elders. Respecting your elders is God's greatest service.